it's Tess and welcome to Wander Wealthy. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, but I think it'll be kind of fun. It's the travel essentials that I take with me when I'm going on a long haul flight. What do you need with you on the airplane when you're traveling abroad internationally for, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 16 hours? I'm about to take off to Italy. I'm actually bringing two checked bags, but I also will be bringing my carry-on, obviously. Now, typically when I travel internationally, I pack extremely lightly and I put it all into a roller bag and then I'll have a backpack or a smaller carry-on. But since I'm going to be traveling with a lot of my items from home, since I'm going to be there for quite a while, I actually am putting a lot of things in my checked baggage, but then I have a bigger carry-on with all of my travel essentials. So. If you are traveling internationally and you wanna bring a roller bag carry-on and then a smaller bag, you can also make sure you get all these essentials. I just lug this massive bag with me. This is my big old bag that I have here and it's pretty large, but I put a lot of my necessary things in it. So let's just dive on in. First things first, you wanna make sure that you have your passport. So if you're flying internationally, don't forget your passport. I don't actually put my passport in a passport holder or case. I just slip it into my wallet, but I have a really big wallet, so it just fits right in. I pull it out, I show them, I have it always. Don't ever forget your passport before you're leaving. So, gotta have it. The first thing is, uh, depending on the season, I will bring something warm, so I'll either wear like a sweater, which is probably what I'll take now because it's going to be um, fairly warm because I'm traveling in the summer, but I want something almost like a sweatshirt that I can put on if I get cold in the airplane. They give you blankets if you're on an international flight, but I'm going to bring a sweater too because sometimes I get a little too cold. If it's the winter and the accessory fits, then I'll bring a scarf that I can also kind of unravel and it makes, it doubles as a blanket. It. So I just have a secondary blanket on me, but I'll probably bring and wear the sweater um, onto the plane because air conditioning always makes me cold. And with that, you also always want to have socks. Um, if you're wearing shorts or if you're wearing even pants, but you take your shoes off, your feet are going to get freezing when you wake up in the middle of your flight, if you can sleep on the flight. So I always bring socks that go above past my ankle because I have been there where I woke up in the middle of the flight and my feet were freezing and then I couldn't get back to sleep and it was just horrible. So I always bring my socks. Speaking of bad experiences, that actually that same flight, I also woke up at one point and I was so dry in my throat and I felt like I needed water so bad, but I was like in the middle seat and I couldn't get out to ask a flight attendant or someone for water. So I always recommend bringing a water bottle. And of course you can buy one in the, in the airport, but I always like to reuse mine. I found this really cute blender bottle at like TJ Maxx. Um, and I just fill it up after I go through security, bring it with you empty, and then fill it up at the drinking fountain or the water fountain. And then you have a bunch of water with you when you're on your flight. So when you do get thirsty and it's not meal time and maybe everyone is sleeping and you don't wanna you know, disturb them, you can then just drink your own water that you brought with you. I always bring a water bottle, I always bring socks, and I always bring something to cover me up so that I don't get super uncomfortable during the flight. So that's important to me. Along with all of the comfort in my clothes that I wear, I also like to make sure I have comfortable shoes and I usually wear tennis shoes. So I will bring these tennis shoes and I wear them and keep them on during my flight. A lot of people take their shoes off. I actually keep my shoes on because it helps so that my feet don't swell up so much. And that's just because when you're sitting so for so long and you're way up in the sky, all of the blood can just like rush to your fingers and your toes and make them swell up a little bit. So you wanna make sure you get up and walk around, but I also like to keep my tennis shoes on. All right, let's talk about snacks. So again, if you wake up in the middle of the night and you're starving, they really typically feed you on international flights at the beginning and at the end an hour before you land. So there's this middle period where depending on what time zone you're flying from and to and how the flight all works out, you might get really hungry. So I always recommend bringing snacks. I typically pick up my favorite 
kind of granola bars, um, protein bars. So I love RX bars and I also love Lara bars. They're all both kind of made with all natural ingredients and I just keep a ton of these on hand all the time so that if I do get hungry or I don't like one of the meals, then I can just have one of these for breakfast instead. All right, let's talk about pampering. Before bedtime when you're on the flight, I still like to go through my kind of evening routine and make sure that I'm doing my hygiene right. So I always like to bring a packet of wet wipes. Um, these are makeup remover towelettes, cleansing towelettes. So I use this to remove any makeup that I might have still on my face if I do wear makeup. Uh, but I also use this on parts of my body sometimes, either before bed or after I wake up from sleeping on the airplane. It's like a little mini shower, if you will. It will really make you feel a little bit more refreshed after you're cramped up in an airplane for so long. I also like to have a roller ball of some sort of scent. I just put this on to make sure that I don't smell questionable. I also bring some deodorant, which I have in this other bag. I bring some deodorant as well. The teeth. I bring my toothbrush. I have an electric toothbrush. It goes into this case, so it just fits right into my bigger bag. And I bring a little bit of toothpaste and a small tube. But then I also bring this um, Smart Mouth mouthwash and they bring, they give them in little tiny like to-go packages. So I can just bring one onto my carry-on. It passes the liquid rule and it's perfect. Um, you can also just get mini bottles of mouthwash at the store. But I like this. I can just rip it off, take it and then throw it away. But this makes sure that your breath stays nice and crisp while you are traveling and after you're cooped up for a while and you have more morning breath, so always good to keep some of that on hand as well. Highly recommend that you bring some sort of moisturizer and lip balm, of course, uh, because airlines, airplanes can get pretty dry when you're up in the air. Of course, airplanes carry a lot of germs and there's a lot of people from all over the place getting on the plane, flying with you, coughing, sneezing, whatever. But hand sanitizer will, of course, keep you clean. And it's good for when you're in the airport too and getting your bags and everything like that. Now on to one of my most favorite part, I pamper myself while I'm in the air because I have so much time. I get some, a couple different things. You can do a facial mask. So I like the ones that are all natural because I really like to take care of my face. This is just a sheet mask that covers your face. Um, if you don't want to go that far out because then you might look, end up looking like a serial killer, you could also do some of these cool like eye patches, eye masks. And I just get these off of Amazon and they're just little like collagen eye masks, but they just fill your face with hydration and are fun to do while you're flying in the air and you know you're pampering yourself so I typically do this after my movie time and when everyone's kind of going to sleep or watching movies but they turn the lights down then I'll whip one of these bad boys out so I don't scare any of the kids if you need any sort of medication, you always wanna make sure you have that on hand with you while you're flying, so keep it in your checked bag. Um, I have some of my medication. This is like an allergy medicine, and I also have asthma, so I bring my inhaler with me all the time. But then I also bring some um, other allergy meds and uh, any sort of like migraine meds. If you get motion sickness, you can bring Dramamine or any other type of motion sickness pill. Just make sure you're, you're covering yourself. I also like to bring some books with me on flight. This is perfect for when you're taking off because you can't use larger electronics. I also just like to read. So I have some books that I will be bringing with me when I am flying to Milan and for my entire travels just to be reading and staying educated. And then I also always recommend bringing some sort of journal and having a pen on hand. I think that some of the best ideas come to me when I am flying and so I always always carry my journal or something to write in, um, especially if I don't want to whip out my computer and I just want to really quickly jot something down. So I'm very much a pen and paper girl, so I like to have my journal with me. It's really great to have some gum on you in case, you know, you have some really bad breath in the middle of the night, but you don't want to get up and go do the whole teeth brushing thing.
something. Gum is also really great for in when you're flying or you're landing and your ears are popping. Chewing something can often help with that. So if gum works for you, definitely bring some gum. Let's talk about technology. So of course I will have my phone on me, but I don't really have much use for it. I always bring my phone charger in my carry-on. You can usually charge your phone. Most airplanes these days, a lot of the newer ones have USB plugs. So if your phone connects to your wall charger via USB, most definitely bring, make sure you at least bring this cord. You can also always put the, plug this into your computer, which can give your phone juice so that when you land or if you want to listen to music while you sleep, um, you can always have your phone ready to go and charged. So I typically just plug my phone in, plug it into the seat back um, that's in front of me and leave it be and I don't really use it. But it's nice to have a fully charged phone for when I land. Good trick is to make sure you bring any sort of power converter with you in your carry-on. When you land, if you don't have any sort of power source in the airplane, you can then plug in your phone um, or any sort of electronic device that you have into a plug at the airport via your power converter. I got this kind of universal power converter. It works in most countries. Um, there's a Europe prong and then there's like a UK prong um, and some other ones. So it's really nice that I take with me on all of my travels and I'm pretty much covered. And if I'm not, then I can just buy a new converter um, for that specific country and put it into my converter collection. So always bring your power converter in your carry-on. I like to bring my computer with me because I usually do work on the flight. And if you bring your computer, remember to bring your charger. Of course, you wanna bring some headphones. I just bring my regular headphones that I can plug in to my computer as well as it to the seat that I am sitting in. They will also provide you with headphones if you don't have any, so you can always opt for that as well. And my last favorite thing, if you are working on a lot of technology, I just got these really awesome computer glasses. They're my absolute favorite thing because I work so much on the computer and I'm always looking at my phone, FaceTiming people um, and looking at like Instagram. So these are blue light glasses. I got them on Amazon. My eyes have felt really strained. I've had trouble sleeping in the past. It's really nice to have something that is protecting your eyesight. Even though they're really reflective and kind of geeky looking, I like to wear them whenever I am looking at my phone. Not every time, but whenever I'm looking at my phone for a long period of time or working on my computer. And that is pretty much everything. I bring a lot of things in my carry-on, but I don't ever want to feel like I'm missing something while I'm many miles in the air. And so it's important for me to kind of bring all of the essentials, make sure I have goodies to pamper myself, things that are gonna keep me comfortable and entertain me while I am flying a, on a long haul flight across the ocean. So. So this is my packing essentials. I hope that it helps you pack for your next international flight. If you need help getting to your next destination, then definitely check out my travel hacking tutorial. I will link it below in the description box. And you can also get access to my free travel hacking training where it's a more fuller length tutorial that dives into how exactly I go about picking my destination and finding a credit card that will give me points to fly to somewhere internationally for under $300 almost every time. In fact, the flight that I just booked to Milan that I am taking all of this stuff with me for, I was able to book for under $120 using this very method. So if you wanna learn my secrets on how I get to fly for very cheap, then definitely check out the video. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up and tell me in the comment box below what your favorite travel essential is. It doesn't have to be one of these. I would love to hear from you if you have different travel essentials or if you're on my ship and you think, yeah, I need that too. Tell me what it is in the comment box below and make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos that I upload on a weekly basis. And until next time, I hope you wander wealthy. while you are traveling. Really? Is that necessary? So you always wanna have something to moisturize. Woo!